Assalamu alaikum and hi. This is chapter 6, Conic Sections for part 1, which is for student uh, in course SM0015 and CM0014. So, uh, in this uh, chapter 6, uh, Conic Sections, these are all of the subtopics which going uh, we we're going to cover later. So for the first part, we only cover uh, the first three subtopics, uh, which are introduction to introduction of conic sections. Uh, second one is straight line, garis lurus, and the third one will be circles, bulatan. And the rest, 6.4, parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas will be covered in the second part of this chapter. So uh, let's see uh, the introduction first. What is conic section? Okay, actually, circles, parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas belong to a large group of curve known as conic section. So uh, we can see over here the figure over here. Uh, we have uh, a con, a double con actually. So uh, what we have alpha over here and then we have con axis and also a vertex over here so this is a vertex okay and a generator straight over here so all the circles parabola ellipses and hyperbolas we known as um, conic section let's go more detail uh, okay this is a clear picture of the all the four um, sections uh, which I mentioned earlier. The first one is parabola. So this is how parabola looks like. Okay, if you cut the cone into uh, in this way, I mean in this uh, angle, you will have parabola. Okay, it's kind of U shape over here. Sengat sikit dia bentuk U. And for ellipse, you will have a bit. Uh, Chondong, but it it was a whole thing. It's not just a uh, U shape. It's like a um, bentuk bujur, okay? And for hyperbola, you're going to cut it above uh, up upper con and lower con. So you ada dekat atas satu U shape and dekat bawah another one U shape over here. And for a circle, uh, if you slice or you cut down the con in a straight. Um, in a straight angle like this, in 180 degree angle. So you'll have this a circle, bulatan. Okay, there's a difference between circle and ellipse. For circle, there adalah satu bulatan, and for ellipse, it's kind of a bujur, sikit, a bit oval. Okay, and for hyperbola, it's only U, U shape, satu saja, sebelah saja. And for hyperbola, dia berpasangan, ada satu dekat bawah, and another one is uh, dekat atas. Okay, I hope you can see, uh, you can get a better or clear picture of these four types of um, conic section. Okay, okay uh, we go to parabola. So this is actually how parabola looks like. The red line over here. It's it's a kind of U shape. Okay, uh, if a con is cut in a direction with angle alpha equal to beta. So if you have F alpha over here and you have beta over here and you cut it in that way, you will get parabola. Uh, you potong the uh, contour a bit chondong, a bit senteng. So you will get a parabola like this. Okay, and then for ellipse, uh, if a con is cut in a direction which beta greater than alpha and less than half, uh, less than pi over 2. Okay, then we get an ellipse as in this figure. Okay, like I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, kalau uh, parabola previously, it's only cut, you will get a U shape over here, but for ellipse, you will get like a oval shape, bujur, okay? Dia bujur, dia condong sedikit. And for hyperbola, it's a pair of parabola actually, 
dia sepasang parabola tu sepasang for uh, previously parabola it's only half kan we potong yang bahagian bawah saja or bahagian atas saja now you, you cut it both upper corn and lower corn you potong slice it dua-dua so you get u shape dekat atas and dari u shape dekat bawah that is hyperbola Okay, then a circle. Uh, this is a circle. When you cut a cone in pi over 2, mean 180 degrees. 180 darjah. Okay, they potong straight macam tu. So, you dapat bulatan. Uh, this is circle. Okay, uh, that uh, all the introduction for conic sections for four uh, types of uh, uh, four types of uh, section circle parabola ellipse and hyperbola so uh, let's move on to the next subtopic which is straight line or garis garis lurus so in uh, second subtopic straight line we have another four subtopics uh, which is equation of straight line persamaan garis lurus distance between any two points in a straight line parallel and perpendicular lines uh, garis berserenjak and garis selari and then we have midpoint of a straight line titik tengah untuk garis lurus so we're going to see each of this uh, so this is uh, one of straight line equation of straight line so of course you need to know what is the equation first okay an equation of non vertical straight line of a center m the other titik tengah m that passes through the point x1 and y1 is you have a point over here and you have a, a center over here m so uh, the equation is y minus y1 equal to m bracket x minus x1 so uh, the gradient or the m over here belong to gradient or kecerunan so how do you find kecerunan i believe you have learned this before during your uh, secondary school so kecerunan or m is equal to y minus y1 divide by x minus x1 so the y1 and x1 is those with a value yang ada value so y and x over here you just remain it as y and x yang ni yang you akan ganti masuk y1 and x1 so let's see the figure uh, figure over here you have x1 y1 and then you have uh, uh, you also have uh, x and y I'm sorry uh, the y Yes, my mistake, sorry. The y and x also have a value over here, actually. Both y and y1, x and x1 also have values, if we refer to this figure. So, x, y, this is for point this, and x1 and y1 for this point. This one, divide by this one. Let's see the first example. Find an equation of the line through 1.1, negative 7, with gradient negative half. Okay, so we have a point over here and we have the m gradient of negative half. So, we're going to refer back to the first uh, formula, which is uh, for equation of straight line, y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1 so what you have to do is go you're going to substitute this value this point over here this is point x1 and y1 this is x1 this is y1 and this is your m so your x1 is 1 your y1 is negative 7 then you're going to substitute into this you have this one y minus negative 7 equal to negative half in the bracket x minus 1 which uh, we can also write in as 2y after you finish this you will get y plus 7 right uh, let me write it for you so how do i pointer yes so you will get like y plus 7 equal to negative 1 over 2x right negative 1 over 2x or this in bracket minus 1 right you get this one 
after you solve for this so uh, you you cannot leave it this in this way you have to simplify it okay mudahkan dia so you rearrange all these things since you have one over two over here why not you bring these two on this side dua ni bawa ke sebelah sini uh, then you multiply lah then you get this one 2y plus 14 equal to yang tinggal dekat sini hanya x minus 1 uh, and because we have negative over here so it's become negative x plus 1 that's why it's become like this or it can be also in this way okay so after this uh, since this is a constant you can bring it on this side okay so you will have 2y 2y plus you will have like 2y plus 13 plus x equal to 0 okay this one also correct this one also correct oh uh, this one it missed the we missed the x over here so you will have x plus 2y plus 13 equal to 0. It's also similar with this. Okay, You can write it in either way. Okay, That's it for uh, equation of straight line. When you have a point and you have an m over here. This is your m. This is your x1. This is your y1. So just feed it into the formula. Okay, next we see the gradient intercept form of the equation of a line an equation of the line with gradient m and y intercept b is this one uh, this one I, I think you 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 are much more familiar with this equation than the previous one because this is quite similar to what you have learned oh i'm sorry what you have learned in during spm Oops, what happened? Uh, uh, let me erase it first. Okay, so actually, uh, during your SPM, you have y equal to mx plus c. The c is actually pintasan paksi y or y-intercept. So, in here, we not the y-intercept as b. Okay, it's uh, up to you. You can write it as b or you can write it as c. Both also can. So, uh, where is C or where is B? Pintasan paksi Y in the graph is actually in here. Here, over here. Okay. The pintasan. Dia pintas. Dia potong paksi Y di mana. Okay. So, this is the formula Y equal to MX plus B or Y equal to MX plus C also can. Okay. In particular, if a line is horizontal, Kalau garis lurus tu uh, horizontal mendatar, uh, its gradient is equal to zero. So, kalau kita ada satu garis lurus macam ni mendatar, melintang, so gradient uh, gradient dia, kecurunan dia adalah kosong. Right. So, its equation equal to y equal to b. Since you don't have y, actually you have y equal to mx plus b, right? x plus b since this one become 0 so the whole thing yang tinggal cuma y equal to b sahaja uh, itu kalau your horizontal line ok while this is an equation of vertical line garis menegak so you will have x equal to a where a is any values on the x exist then this is the general form of a straight line where ax plus by plus c equal to 0. a, b and c are three real numbers and a and b cannot be 0. So let's say if we have a vertical line x equal to a like this, your a is equal to 1, b equal to 0 and c equal to negative a. So you will have a just fit in the a b and c into this uh, formula you will have 1 times x plus 0 y minus a equal to 0 so how do you know your c equal to uh, minus a how do you know your c equal to minus a because it simply take from this one c equal to 
minus a and your y equal to zero because there is no y value on this right so that's why you your b equal to zero and then for horizontal a equal to zero b equal to one c equal to negative b because you bring it on this side it's become negative b same as this when you bring it on this side it become negative a so you just uh, plug in these values into this you will get this one and this is the distance jarak between any two points in a straight line so how do you find jarak or distance uh, d is a distance equal to modulus of a times b modulus not uh, modulus a b means like the distance from a to b so it, the formula is actually x uh, x2 minus x1 then you square it then you're going to plus with y2 minus y1 and square and then you take square root for the whole thing okay let's see the example find the distance between 1 negative 2 and 0.5 and 3 so this is going to be our uh, x1 and y1 this is going to be x2 and y2 uh, so what happened is that uh, this is your x1 y1 x2 y2 you just simply plug in into this formula so what is your x2 your x2 is 5 minus x1 your x1 is 1 then square it plus your y y2 your y2 is 3 minus negative 2 square and then you take square root of the whole thing so you get your d equal to square root 41 or it can be in this form or you can write it down um, in decimal point so that's it for the distance between two points and this is parallel and perpendicular line garis renjang and garis selari so for parallel gar Parallel is garis lari when two lines in the plan have no points in common. They are said to be parallel. Uh, bila dua garis tu, dia tidak ada garis uh, satu titik yang sama. No points in in common. Tidak ada titik yang sama. Which mean they are to be parallel. They are selari. Dia tidak bersentuhan. Okay. Okay. We have theorem over here. Criterion for parallel lines. Uh, criteria untuk parallel lines. Two distinct non-vertical lines are parallel if and only if their gradient gradient are equal. Uh, so, untuk garis tu, uh, syarat criteria untuk garis tu selari adalah the kecurunan or the gradient must be equal. M1 equal to M2. That one means they are equal. They are parallel. So, this is the example. Find an equation for the line that contains the point, this one, and is parallel to line, this one. So, you have a point and they kata this point selari dengan garis ni. What does, mean, what does it mean by this point selari dengan garis ni? Is that the point is actually in this line. Uh, dia dalam tu line. Jadi, dia selari. So, Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Five, yes, yes, betul. Dia selari. Point ni, parallel. Dia selari dengan ni. Maksudnya, dia berada pada garis tu lah. Okay. Okay, now you have write 2x plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0 in gradient intercept form. So, in gradient intercept form adalah bentuk yang ini. Uh, kita ada dua bentuk tadi. Bentuk yang ini, gradient intercept form, y equal to mx plus b, ataupun satu lagi yang ax plus by plus c equal to zero, general form tu. So, you're going to rewrite it into this form, 2x plus y minus 6, 0, you rearrange dia sampai dapat this form. Then, you can get your slope or your m or your gradient equal to negative 2. This is your gradient. Kan? Bila you compare dengan... Uh, this equation so your m equal to negative 2 then the next step is use point gradient to form a line that contain the point 2 negative 3 oh, okay so it's actually this line this point is not in this line it's parallel so dia dia selari maksudnya kita boleh create satu lagi line yang contain uh, this point yang mana selari dengan this one so uh, using the uh, 
point gradient form point gradient form mean yang y1 minus y y minus y1 uh, m x minus x1 that one okay using that formula so y minus y1 your y1 is this one negative 3 equal to negative 2x minus x1 your x1 is 2 so you have this new formula this new formula over here uh, uh, this new equation over here is actually uh, parallel to this line the salary okay so that is the answer for this question yeah yang mana dia minta find an equation for the line that contain the point this one uh, maksudnya this point terkandung dalam line yang baru yang kita uh, mau cari dia punya equation then perpendicular when two line intersect at a right angle uh, dua line tu intersect at a right angle 90 degrees they are said to be perpendicular uh, perpendicular tu dia berserenjang berserenjang mean dia ada sudut 90 darjah so um, ok we have theorem over here two non vertical lines are perpendicular if the product of the gradient is negative 1 uh, dia serenjang kalau dia punya gradient m equal to negative 1 for the previous one untuk parallel uh, kita kata dia parallel dia sama uh, bila dia punya slope tu equal to negative uh, sama uh, dia punya slope sama kalau parallel that's why when you have this slope you terus fit in dalam you tahu the the new line dia punya kecerunan pun sama equal to negative 2 but for perpendicular the gradient will be negative 1 the product the product i'm sorry the product of the gradient is equal to negative 1 hasil darab so it's going to be like this m1 times m2 equal to negative 1 m1 mean kecurunan untuk satu garis lurus m2 lagi satu kecurunan untuk another satu lagi garis lurus uh, hasil darab dia you will get negative 1 so let's see the example find an equation of the line passing through the point 1 negative 2 and perpendicular to the line x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 so step 1 kamu kena cari satu garis uh, uh, satu straight line yang mana dia ada this point dan dia berserenjang dengan this line so you have to rewrite uh, this in a gradient intercept form tulis dia dalam y equal to mx plus c or y equal to mx plus b okay, okay. Uh, so you have like this one ni dalam bentuk y equal to mx plus b okay so susun semula until you get this form y equal to negative 1 over 3 hex plus 2 so you know your m m1 is equal to this one this going to be your m1 sorry then any line perpendicular to this line will have gradient 3. So how do we obtain this gradient 3? Using this one. Kita tahu tadi M1 times M2 you will get negative 1. So you already have your M1 negative 1 over 3. Then you're going to find the new kecurunan M2 using this formula. Then you found that your M2 equal to 3. So this is the line. So uh uh, you already have the M2 uh, and you have one point over here. So we're going to use this formula y minus y1 mx minus x1. So you can tila masuk y minus y1 what is your y1 negative 2 and 3 you already have 3. This is your 3 is actually your M2 just now. Uh, this one is your x1 this one is your y1. Uh, ini. Okay. So you have a new equation. Which is. Uh, this one also correct. But it's better if you can write it down in this form. 
So, bila you dah kembang-kembangkan, you expand it, you will get this as the answer for the perpendicular straight line. This is in point gradient form. Dia dalam bentuk point gradient form. Ini pula dalam bentuk general form. Ha. Bila dalam general form, you tahu this. Apa tu general form? General form is actually AX plus BY plus C equal to 0. This is general form. And this is Ah, uh, ni dalam bentuk apa ni? Gradient intercept. Ini dalam bentuk gradient intercept. Hmm. Okay, so kita ada tiga bentuk sudah yang kamu sudah nampak. This one is point gradient form, which is this one. Point gradient form. General form is this one. And this one is um, gradient intercept form. Ah, uh, Dia ada gradient, dia ada intercept. Ah, gradient intercept form. Dah comot dah. So, next. Midpoint of a straight line. Nah, macam mana kita mau cari titik tengah untuk straight line. So, you have the coordinates of the midpoint. Midpoint ni dia kita tulis sebagai capital M. M besar. X, M, Y, M. Between A and B is given by X, M. Macam mana cari point X, M tu? X1 plus X2 divide by Two and then y m y one plus y two divide by two. Okay, you have let's say, this is the uh, midpoint. Uh, so you have two points a and b. Macam mana kita cari titik tengah? You tambahkan x one plus x two divide by two. Sebab dia titik tengah, so you have to divide by two. And this one y one plus y two divide by two. Okay, so you get this point. So you will get this, and then. The point C, Xc, Yc, which divide A, B internally in the ratio AC, uh, ratio AC to BC given by M to N is given by this. Uh, dia kata, ada satu titik C, point C ni, dia divide A and B internally, di dalam. Yeah, so, maksudnya internally, dia di antara A dan B lah. So, in the ratio A to C, Uh, A, C to B, C. Uh, so, ini adalah M and this one B, B kepada C adalah N. Macam mana kita cari yang ni? Point dia. Uh, so, you going to uh, this X, C over here. Point X, C over here. Macam mana you cari? M times X2. M ni, you darab dengan X2. X2 over here. Plus N time x1. Dia bersilang. Yang m dekat sini, you darab dengan x belah sini. N, dan yang n dekat sini, you darab dengan yang x1 belah sini. Ha. M darab yang ni. Oops. M darab yang ni. N yang ni darab dengan yang ini. Macam tu. So, M time X2 time N time X1. Ha. Yang X, X lah. Kita kumpulkan belah X. Divide by M plus N. And for Y, ha, sama juga yang Y, kita kumpulkan Y1 and Y2. M times Y2. Ini darab silang sini. And N times Y1. Ha. So, you will get this point over here. Ha. So, bila kita ada a point divide Internally, of course, ada juga lawan dia which is divide AB externally. Externally means dia di luar. Two point tu dekat luar. Contohnya dekat sini, kita ada point A, kita ada point B. Uh, point D ni, dia divide A and B externally. Uh, di mana dia dekat luar. Dia tidak berada in between dekat dalam, dekat sini. Dia dekat luar. That's why dia nama dia AB externally. Okay. The point D divides AB externally with ratio A to D. Ratio A to D. Uh, A pergi D equal to M. B pergi D equal to N. Uh, so, M ni yang panjang ni. 
N yang panjang ni. Ha. So, sama jugalah formula dia macam tadi. Kalau tadi dia tambah, internally dia tambah. Ha. Kalau externally dia tolak. M sama juga. M darabkan dengan X2. Uh, N times dengan X1 divide by M minus N. Dia terbalik saja ni saja dia punya beza. Ni. Uh. Okay. So you have like uh, quite similar with internally. Just the formula is minus. Okay. Then example given two points A and B find coordinate point R. Which divide the straight line joining A and B internally uh, with the ratio 2 to 1. So, you tahu lah 2 to 1 ni apa? 2 ni adalah M. This one is your N. Uh, so, kita guna balik formula tadi. Since dia internally, kita guna formula tambah. Hmm. So, XC untuk cari XC, MX2 plus NX1. Uh, ini you, you have no... Uh, option you have to memorize. Okay. So, kena ingat lah. So, X1 with B. Macam mana cari X1 ni? Uh, so, X1 will be 2 times negative 3. Negative 3 ni kan? Uh, ni X1. This is X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2. Uh. So, you ganti masuk dalam this formula saja. 2M times ni plus N times ni. Uh, divide by M plus N. Uh, so, you dapatlah jawapan dia. Your R is actually this one. Jangan lupa tulis dia dalam bentuk point ya. Kalau ada bracket. Okay, that one finish about our straight line, second subtopic, straight line. So, in straight line, you have learned three new um, equation, ada uh, jenis, tiga jenis equation. Satu, general form. General form tu yang AX plus BX plus BY plus C, general form. And then you have gradient intercept point, uh, gradient intercept form, yang mana ni sangat familiar y equal to mx plus c and then satu lagi gradient point form, yang mana y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1, so itu ada trigger, then in the straight line uh, also you need to know how to find the midpoint, titik tengah, so in midpoint you will have two cases internally or externally so you can refer to the notes previously